I am Major Dervon Lewis, Projects Officer, 1 Engineer Regiment, Jamaica Defense Force. As Projects Officer, my job typically entails the planning, design and implementation of all construction projects undertaken by the Jamaica Defense Force Engineer Regiment. From time to time also we provide technical support to other government and private entities as detailed by Headquarters Jamaica Defense Force. As Projects Officer there is no such thing as a, as a typical day. We are always fraught with various challenges. Um, as, as the word projects dictate, uh, by definition, are each different. So there's, there's really no, no typical day, and depending on how we're employed, it might be a day on a construction site, or a day in the office crunching the numbers. Army engineers are of great significance to the force and to our country. In recent times, you'd have seen where we were employed for the construction of the juvenile remand facility for boys at Metcalf Street, which was entirely undertaken by the Jamaica Defence Force Engineer Regiment. Subsequent to that though, we have been involved in a number of national projects, significantly of which are the Lift Up Jamaica slash social intervention programs with the Urban Development Corporation. And we've also been a part of the Relocation 2000 housing program and the Inner City Housing Program with the National Housing Trust. We continue to be employed in these nation building roles and we think that is a significant contribution not only to the force but to Jamaica at large. Some of the projects that we are currently involved in include uh, Metcalf Street Juvenile Remand Centre, the Jamaica Constabulary Force Ammunition Storage Facility and Offices. We are looking forward now to undertaking the completion of the Falmouth Police Station and also to the Lathbury Barracks Redevelopment Programme. We're also heavily involved in certain Canadian funded projects which improve our internal capacity for housing our soldiers. The most satisfying part of my job is when I am able to see a project completed and being handed over. When you actually realise the hard work and efforts coming into fruition and, and, and reality and the satisfaction of, of the end users. The advice I would give to anyone considering a career as an Army engineer is to ensure that they work hard during their training because the challenges that we face are quite diverse and you may never tell what aspect of engineering you may be called upon to employ on every, any given day. Secondly, this I think is the best time for Army engineers as we are currently employed on a wide variety and volume of projects than we've ever been before in the history of our regiment.